Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Today we're going to review and play Raygun Commando VR, a free-to-play game on the Steam Store for the Valve Index and the HTC Vive. This game came out in 2017 and it's rated very positively, which is a little surprising for me. Now, I am going to recommend this game, but I'm going to give a very tepid recommendation, basically because it's free. If there was any amount charged for this game, I'd probably give it a negative recommendation. For me, the game is just pretty bland overall. This is a standstill 360 wave shooter. Some people have mentioned on rails, and for me, this is not really an on rails shooter. For me, an on rails shooter, you're actually moving to the next stage. So you're either on a card or you're just physically moving to the next part of the game. Here what happens is you're in one level and there's enemies 360 around you. Once you kill them all, you're basically transported to the next level. You basically just uh, fade in and, and fade out, fade out and fade in to the next level. Uh, the gun mechanic here does not feel very, very realistic. It's pretty poor. It's not even a good arcade version. Uh, the gun mechanic doesn't feel good, doesn't feel right. It just there's like a slight delay between when you shoot and, and the bullet getting to your enemy. It just travels at a very slow pace and it feels more like a nerf gun that you're shooting versus this high powered uh, laser rifle that you're shooting to take down enemies. Now there is enemy variety. So that is the good thing about this free to play uh, title. There is quite a bit of enemies from big heavies with big guns to shielded enemies to boss fights. Uh, to invisible enemies so that is good but the environments themselves the levels themselves are not well designed uh, they look pretty bland to me pretty poor environments um, you can base once you've done the whole game once and you try to replay it again you'll basically memorize where all the enemies were and you'll just easily clear it out so there there really is no reason to replay this game once you finish it uh, it's pretty light on content as well. Um, you could possibly finish this game in 10 minutes, although I think for most people it would probably take about 20 minutes to finish, uh, especially if you're not very good at shooters. Uh, but still, it's pretty light on content and it's just not very fun because again, you're just standstill 360 shooter. There's not a whole lot of strategy here. Basically, um, use the shields to block the projectiles or if you want don't use the shields and just use your body to move away from the projectiles or get behind cover and shoot but the gun mechanics feel so poor that it just never feels fun never feels challenging really um, for me it's just a I'm gonna rate it a 5.5 out of 10 there's just better free wave shooters out there and I have a top 100 list on my steam curated group Oculus Rift reviews and if you go there you can see which games I think are better than this I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.